Think of it as treating the symptoms versus eliminating the root cause. An easy win such as winning the lottery or undergoing a weight loss surgery is treating the symptoms. You aren't changing as a person. Your habits stay the same and will drag you back to where you started. When you eliminate the root cause a lack of positive habits, inaction, procrastination, or a lack of self-discipline you will be forever changed and your world will transform according to your internal changes. Each time you get angry at how difficult accomplishing your goal is, remind yourself that it's a tool through which you'll gain the right for your success. If all were given to you when you asked, you wouldn't appreciate it and wouldn't become a person who knows how to handle such a reward. In the end, you would probably squander it. Let the filter work its magic and shape you like a blacksmith forges a sword. What is your definition of failure? Quick recap 1. If you want to handle failure in a constructive way, change your definition of it. If you have a disempowering definition of failure, such as failure is a lack of success, you'll avoid it as much as you can, and thus never achieve the ultimate objective you're after personal growth. Words have power, and changing the definitions you use will change your behavior. Point 2. A more useful definition of failure is that you fail when you fail to learn something from an event. If you consistently step outside your comfort zone and try new things, you'll always learn something new and that will empower you and help you achieve your long-term goals. Point 3. It's you who controls how much of an impact a failure will have on your performance and future progress. Resist the temptation to feel angry, frustrated, discouraged, or guilty when you fail. Instead, make a list of lessons you've learned from not reaching your desired outcome. If you repeatedly make a big deal of every tiny slip-up, you'll fine-tune your brain to react in this way for every future problem. It's a troubling behavior, because humans perform best in a positive state, not when dwelling on past mistakes, criticizing oneself or feeling guilty. Point 4. You can use metaphors to further change your beliefs about failure. Three powerful metaphors about failure you can use are, thinking of failure in terms of navigating a maze, in which each failure helps you get closer to the end, looking at failure as a sculpting tool, and considering failure a filter that eliminates people who aren't dedicated enough.